Alright guys, hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your girl Drew and you're watching Religion Link TV And we're going to talk about missing YouTubers and where they have gone, if you know And I'll give a little bit of content on what I know about them Thank you so much for watching Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Wink Squad over here And shine your light just as bright as I do mine Thank you so much and God bless now let's get into it. My spiritual ears stay. All right, guys. So I've been thinking about some content creators I used to see when I first got on YouTube. Probably like December 2017, maybe. Um, you know, when the whole like, uh, just going back to Kaya Madison, Kaya and T.S. Madison uh, beef. When it first broke out that February. Um, Miss Gina. Hi, Miss Gina, Queen of Talk. You used to have a man in your chat, Yomiko. He used to donate you money and stuff. And how I remember, VS, if you watch, and she used to hold her hand like this, y'all. And, um, you know, pick at people. Pick at him about donating money and wiping people ass with money or something to that effect but yomiko hey yomiko how are you i never got a chance to meet you or anything like that but i used to watch you and well watch you in other people's chat and i thought you were a decent person whatever happened to you i hope all is well and god bless you um the little bit of stuff i know about yomiko is just basically he was on the YouTube streets. He would go around and donate to people. He had some affiliation with Sayshawn Bradley um, out of Baltimore over there on his platform. And um, he was just a really nice guy. He would just go around and donate to everybody, but I think except VS. And so her and... Um, I don't think it was TSCC then at the time, but she used to pick on that man. And anybody that was there back then and watching her know when she did her arm like this, what the hell it meant, okay? It referred to Yomiko. Anyway, Ascending Culture. Hey, sis, how are you? Um, Regardless of what happened between you and I, I haven't really seen you in anybody's chat under Ascending Culture. You might have made a different page due to everything that went on in these YouTube streets and, you know, being affiliated with people and having issues with people. I know you didn't like uh, Jason, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, Devolving Culture. Uh, the YouTube justice guy right now, you said that you named yourself Ascending Culture because he was devolving culture. And I did that video asking is, de is white people devolving our culture? And as you can see with Takashi 69 it's never going to stop happening. But you people allow it. So miss me with the BS, okay? <laughs> I miss you, sis. I still have all the pictures of your family. I never played with your phone number. I never gave your phone number out. I never emailed you back. Um, up until that point in time when I told you I was going live and you were my moderator. And you said you was going to come in as another uh, page. And it was you and your daughter going to be in there. And you never showed up it was a bunch of bs and i kind of felt not some kind of way but when i say i feel some kind of way it put my red flag up and say don't move no further with this person and i haven't really seen you around much i do miss you and i pray all is well with you happy mother's day okay who else who else PR Beauty, I never really got a chance to meet you, and you were like your Miko, just a neutral person. You would go around, you had the people you liked, you didn't like, who you supported, didn't support. You never really came in over to my chat and introduced yourself to me, but I thought you were a very beautiful person if that's you on your page and in your pictures, and you had a very beautiful spirit, especially toward Miss Gina. You kind of migrated to her chat more so than anybody, but you were also in a viewers of views chat. And, um, you know, I believe you're missed on these streets if you're a mother. Happy Mother's Day. Who else, y'all? Well, I told you I did a video a couple weeks ago on the Myers family. 
and they're no longer with us and we know where they are the family is dead the mother is the husband the wife and the mother-in-law the husband his wife and her mother Amandre Myers, Shamara Myers, and Limbusha Seals or Fields, I believe her last name is. YouTubers, family, you know, family YouTubers. And um, their life got taken short for whatever reason. And they're no longer with us, guys. So, you know, I pray that, you know, people that we are mentioning and missing on these YouTube streets still have life and will show themselves. You know, we have all these other new people popping up like Sir King and Wolverine and Mess no, Ness no Mess and the Eye Opener and all these other people, right? But I remember there were people... Um, that, that had value, but, you know, kind of like me, they were shunned over and looked over because they weren't really with the beef and the drama. And I slowly saw them, you know, kind of fade away into the sunset. But I hope they're still living and alive and well and still amongst us. Maybe they just have different pages that they come out under. Now, one of my favorites, and this isn't because she helped me with my internet bill pretty much monthly, but Super Chat, where are you? A light-skinned, beautiful lady with long, straight hair, guys. Y'all know her. But again, um, I would have loved to have you for a moderator. At the point in time when what happened with Ascending Culture and myself, I had learned from Sean Bradley. This is before he modded up Linus, of, um, Linus Queen Linus over there. And some other people he may have moderated. Sean Bradley was without moderators for a long time. And I took a page out of his book and been without moderators for a long time. I mean, you know, God has been protecting me all this time. And if I happen to can, can engage a thousand people in my chat, y'all say what the hell y'all want to say. Y'all grown. I mean... There is some words I have blocked out in content creator names, but y'all be calling them other names anyway. So if y'all want to come over and comment, just don't curse and just don't use their names because they hate when you call their names. They want to be famous and they want to dictate what you say about them, but they hate when you call your name and speak your own truth in reference to them. So... But the, I think about things like this, guys. So this is informative commentary uh, content. It, it's, it makes you think, right? Like, where did these people go? Who else? Who else? Who else? Cough, cough. Remember cough, cough? Well, if you don't know cough, 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 hey, if you're out there, I mean, we had engagement before, good engagement, nothing bad at all. I miss you on the streets. Happy Mother's Day, girl. Uh, you was a little fireball. <laughs> you brought a whole lot to the table, but some people thought it was controversial. Some people thought you were full of it. Some people thought you were, you know, snake and seven stars, BS. Here, here's how it goes, guys. I believe she was Seven Stars moderator at first because remember, they were all over here. Sydney Bell is there, Indigenous Afro, um, Milagros Martel. I love Milagros and she still comes through every now and then. Uh, Nuri B, all of these people were and still some of them you know was checking for me after vs and i had did that interview on january 17 2019 go check that video out i'm still trying to trim it so we could get the chat back but it was a lot of people in that chat that you know and people i met from that live stream so cough cough she went to be i think seven stars moderator and then something happened with behind the scenes y'all know how it go on these youtube streets people can't mind their damn business receipts receipts started being passed people started not being trusted somehow she ended up on vs's chat was out in seven stars i can't remember all the details y'all but i know there's somebody out there that do and cough cough if it's you how are you you're missed on these streets whether you believe it or know it or not okay there's some people that miss you in your presence for whatever reasons okay 
Uh, let's see who else, who else, who else was out here on these streets going hard. Um, of course, the King McKinley's. What happened to Trey? Uh, King McKinley, he was in VS chat again, got kicked out. You know, things happened, these people disappeared. They said, allegedly, he came back as Trey. Trey since disappeared and faded off. They, some people were saying he allegedly Sir King. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, guys, you can Google these names on, you can search these names on YouTube, and they'll pretty much come up in every video, okay? So, um, yeah, Trey, how are you? Didn't never get to meet you as well. Uh, like your style a little bit. A little rough around the edges, but I'm sure people miss you on these YouTube streets. And you did bring something. How you presented yourself to YouTube was questionable. But once you got on YouTube on your own platform, you know, you were doing okay, I thought. Is sitting around talking about people all damn day long doing okay, though? I don't think so, people, but we'll just have to keep watching it, right? We'll have to keep watching people who do that and see if they grow or explode. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, who else? Guys, are you hanging in there with me on this video? It's crazy because I think about people and I'm trying to see, is there any shares life? Oh, my God. I would not be able to do this video without Cher's life, okay? Shout out to S. Hutchinson. Hey, Shelly, how are you? You remember Cher's life if you happen to watch this video or somebody that do. Tell Cher's life I said hello. I can actually go over to her page, and I did, just to see where she was like a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to go back over there, guys, and hit her up because it said about seven months ago that she hadn't upload it and i remember back about a year or so ago even back around 2018 may of 2018 her and i a view is a view marquita r uh we all used to like chit chat or whatever you know what i'm saying and then shelly no disrespect to you you came back on youtube you hijacked her page her and i haven't really spoken or been around each other since and seven months ago, she stopped uploading. So, I hope that she's well. If you heard anything about her, please let a sister know. Because she was one of my favorites. Her and I was both upcoming the same way. Both spiritual in our own right and in, in our own way. And um, both was pulling. She had her little chat growing and going. And I had my little chat growing and going, you know. And we were neck and neck. And, um... I believe we're still about neck and neck <laughs> when it's all damn said and done. So it does matter who you come in contact with on these YouTube streets. It, it, it's either going to work for you or work against you people, right? And that's no shade to anybody I've come in contact with on these YouTube streets. So, let's see. Who else? Put some names down there. Who else used to be a content creator and then you actually no longer hear from this person? Again, I don't want to leave without, um, you know, and then I know there's the whole block game. Some people may have me blocked and I don't see them. You know what I'm saying? That's understandable. Everybody's not going to get my teaching. Everybody wants me to bow down, kiss ass, succumb to, follow through, be a, a follower, not a leader on these YouTube streets, and that's not going to happen. You know, play the games that's being played on here. And sometimes you just got to be still and know that he is God, okay, in the midst of it all, right? So then what else? Um... Who else? Who else? Who else used to be one of those content creators? And then all of a sudden, if you saw them in the beef and sector drama, or if you saw them in celebrity news, hair and makeup, uh, mukbangs, who are some of the people that you no longer see on YouTube and you hope all is well with them, you know? So I gave you this list, guys. Like I said... 
add anything out I, I want to sit one minute and just say can i think of anybody else before i leave but guys this has been your girl drew you've been watching religion link tv and my spiritual ears stay so who are some of these guys who are some of these gals out here that we no longer see okay um, let's see, let's see, let's see. And I'm only going off of who I know and met and saw. Not so much people I heard about along the way. There's been people ran off of YouTube and, you know, things of that nature. But, um, I really don't know much about those, those people. Just that, you know, um, there was Blab and there was Vegas Gate and there was a lot of things that went down. And some attorneys and women back then were ran off of YouTube. But they surfaced when VS had that 10-hour women em women's empowerment live. These women surfaced. So they're still around and they're still live and well. They may be going out under other channels. But they definitely are still around. Okay, guys? If you're worrying about those women. Who was ran off of YouTube back in the day. Let me see. Shout out to you guys. God bless you and happy Mother's Day. If you get to watch this video. You're missed on these YouTube streets. You brought a lot to the YouTube streets then. And I'm sure you can add some substance to YouTube now. Okay. We need strong powerful voices. Especially the ones people want to silence. And run off of YouTube. Alright, so guys, let me think. I want to go deep and see if there's anybody else I encountered that's no longer around. That, you know, used to be, uh, like I said, in the mix of things. Whether it's whatever sector you may be in. Oh! Wake the hell up, Seven! Hey, dude! What the hell is up? Yo, wake the hell up, Seven! Oh, he was turning out to be one of my favorite content creators, but then he was always in beef and drama and here, there, and everywhere, and then just disappeared. So maybe he has me blocked because I sit over here and talk about black Jesus and righteousness and the Most High God and other stuff as well. I think what happened with him is I didn't give him a play. I was supposed to drive to New York City and meet him. But I was like, I don't want to be that kind of YouTuber running around this state meeting people. Uh -uh. Wake the hell up seven. You know that's true. We talked on the phone. We had a, it was a Tuesday evening. I was supposed to jump in my car and drive two hours. I'm like, oh, hell no. So I just started coming on YouTube, acting like that conversation never happened. Because in my mind, it never happened. I was not crossing those lines with colleagues and I didn't want to start YouTube off on the wrong foot so don't act like nobody tried to holler at you girl I just didn't holler back <laughs> all right wake the hell up seven I love you bro I'm so crazy right now guys I'm like on my fourth or fifth video today it's all good <laughs> I just want to share with you guys, okay? So, wake the hell up, Seven. How are you? And then, of course, it wouldn't be right. The unknowns. I mean, you helped me and, and supported me and gave me all the love in the world um, when I first got on YouTube and when we first met through the I Am A Creator over there with James Cox. I don't know what happened to you. I pray all is well with you and your family. If you'd like to start back up a YouTube ship and come over. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to check on your page and see how you're doing. And leave a comment as well as Cher's life. Um, who I met through. I don't know if I met her through the. No, I didn't meet her. I, I met her through Mar Marquita R, I believe. Absolutely. But it was all around the time when James Cox was big on YouTube with the I Am A Creator Thon, okay? The unknowns. I miss you, bro. And I pray all is well with you. I am not going to publicly, although we did on my channel, speak about what you were going through and some of the things you went through. 
But I'm not going to mention it here. All I'm going to mention is you're missed on my platform. I love you to death, bro. I pray all is well. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon, okay? So, um, again, there's a lot of people that used to come over and vibe with me. But it was like when I first got on YouTube, it was like, hey, babe, hey, boo, hey, this, hey, that. And my professional ass was not... <laughs> And I still am not like that. I mean, I got to really know you to call you pet names and joke with you like that and stuff. And it was just so much so fast. People just look for friendship and acceptance and people to talk to them and let them hang around them and leech on to them. And I wasn't trying to go down that road, y'all. I got on here to encourage us. Not to hinder us, not to hang out with us, not to, you know, lollygag around with us, but to educate us and to get us to see the truth, the light, the righteousness that's left in this world, okay? And that doesn't mean we have to be perfect. Because there is some people in this world I call Boo and Bay. <laughs> there is some people I talk to and be like, anywho... <laughs> Some things is for me and some things not for me. What was for me today, guys, on Mother's Day was just to acknowledge some of the past content creators and YouTubers we no longer see. That's no longer with us. Um, we've had people commit suicide, alleged to suicide. Sansare, I don't know where you are, sweetie, but God bless you and happy Mother's Day to you. Um... There, you know, we had the one guy, was it Troy's, what, what was his name? I don't even know his name, don't want to speak on him too much because I didn't speak on him in life. And I really don't want to speak on people in death because I feel like life is more valuable. If we can't talk about people when they're alive, why well, do it when they're dead? <laughs> I mean, it's just my, it's just me. There was a lot of people doing content on this person who took his life because of a bad relationship but yet they you didn't see them do videos or really hang out with him prior to him committing suicide i don't like stuff like that okay so anyway guys let me go ahead and end it here it's been a minute i love you guys i am grateful that you guys are spending this mother's day with me my daughter she went home to cook if you watched the video prior to this we did an unveiling of all the gifts you see there in that bag right there this box right there i'm moving the balloons is part of the decorations uh gifts for mother's day so, guys, I'm just going to sit and chill out. I don't know if I'm going to go to my daughter's and eat. If I'm just going to sit and chill and have what I have here. Um, I didn't bother cooking because I told you. I'm out of that phony-ass way of life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here for the cameras. I'm not here to bullshit and fake you. I'm here to let you know it's real. It's Mother's Day. I called. I talked to my mother, my sisters, my daughter. You know what? I gave my daughter money for her Mother's Day because she's a sweetheart. She's been holding me down. She gave me gifts, her and the children. I unveiled those to you in the video prior to this. But when it comes to faking the funk, I'm not cooking today if I don't got damn have to. Got damn have to, okay? I'm not. Please. I'm at the point now in my life, you understand what I'm saying? And I have groceries. I could go over there and cook, but I'm chilling. If I could go to somebody else's house and get served, or <laughs> if I could just go in there, heat me something up, have a hot dog, a hamburger, whatever. And plus, if you guys saw my house, you see boxes there, here. Everything is packed up. Not my pots and pans, though. I just don't feel like cooking. What I wanted to do today was talk to you. Come on here. I premiered like maybe three hours worth of content after this video. Maybe three hours worth of stuff. I've been sharing with you guys today. Video after video after video after video. Take it or leave it. Okay? So, with that being said... Hmm... It's getting warm in here. It's like the sun. That damn Holy Spirit come over you. You feel that heat. 
<laughs> Dang on hot flashes. <laughs> Either way, guys, happy Mother's Day. Let me know who you're missing on these YouTube streets or who you no longer see. Do you know Yakima? Do you know um, uh, 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 PR Beauty? Do you know uh, uh, the Myers family? Do you know uh, Sansere? Do you know Ascending Culture? Do you know Super Chat? Cough, cough. Uh, am I missing anybody else, guys? Who else? May have been on these YouTube streets and somehow disappeared, you know. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. You're watching Religion Week TV and my spiritual ears. Stay. Thank you, guys.